Hi, I'm Brad Griffith. Welcome back to my studio. I teach small hand tool making and wood bending. And all the letters you see in front of me, both uppers and lowers, are popsicle sticks that have been soaked in water at least overnight, bent around a particular shape, and then made into the alphabet. And my job is to teach you how. So this is my studio. Like I said, I teach small hand tool making from toys and, and everyday objects around the house. So first we want to start with the wood. So <clears throat> all you need to do is soak craft sticks, popsicle sticks, tongue depressors. These are large craft sticks. You soak them in water overnight, longer. Sometimes if you soak them for days, it, the water gets a little slimy, but don't worry about that. It can uh, just rinse them off and put fresh water in. Also, if you soak it for days, the sticks turn dark. But what you want to look for is, you see how this one has got long grain? The grain of the wood is important. This one here, you see how the grain goes short? So more than likely that one will break there on the grain. But the long grain is what you're after. You want those long grain pieces so that you can bend it and shape it and mold it. These uh, reddish ones we dyed with food coloring earlier. This one, can you tell which way the grain goes? More than likely that one will break. Keep your broken pieces because they'll still work for other parts of your projects. <clears throat> so any imperfections like this more than likely won't work well. But here's some uh, pretty good long grain sticks. And you'll get good at reading the wood grain after a while. So uh, after you soak them, I'm going to teach you how to do what I call the Sharpie pen bend. And it's that because we bent it around a Sharpie pen. So you put your stick in there. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to kind of warm up the stick to being bent. So you just kind of help warm up the fibers. You're kind of telling it you're about to bend it in half. Then this is our bending strap. It's just a piece of thin plastic. And that keeps the fibers from snap cracking and popping. Thumb, pressure, stick, plastic, all of those above. And then force it into submission. And then clamp. So start collecting clamps of all shapes and sizes because over time you'll use them. These work really well. So when the tree was alive, it was full of water. Now that it's dry and dead, there's no water in it. But if you give water back to the tree, back to the stick, you will start to be able to bend and mold and shape the wood almost as you desire. So one of the things that we do is it's called a re-soaking. If you don't like a particular bend, you can simply re-soak the stick. The stick will want to go back to its original shape and become flexible again. And that's called re-soaking. So once the stick has softened, 
it becomes flexible, bendable, and pliable again, just like this sponge. So the dry sponge, hard and stiff, representing the popsicle stick, the soft sponge representing a stick that's full of water, and it becomes flexible. So let's try another one. Tongue depressor, it's got some long grain. This also would be a good one. Sometimes you can bend two at a time. I'll just do one here for this instance. So let's see what happens without the bending strap. So I didn't need it on this one. And clamp. So here's one we did the other day. We bent it around this glass crystal thing, whatever. And that's the outcome. And these shapes and you're the shapes that you'll develop on your own are going to be used for building, making, creating, designing, all sorts of craft projects, gifts. So here's one we bent around a block of wood to get this shape. And glued together, that might become a coat hook. Maybe not the hook part this long, but shorter. So once again, we go back to the wet sticks, dry them off. You can put them in place. And then the bending straps. And that clamp, I thought it would be a little bit small. <clears throat> so, once that is complete, you'll end up with more of these. And these could be fanned out. Not sure what they would do. But for some uh, simpler projects for kids, we make these catapults, show them how to make the, I call paint stick catapults. We soak the popsicle sticks. We force it into the paint can lid top. And the outcome are these shapes used for the catapult, used for geometric designs, small scale tables and this small scale wood bending builds up to full scale models made from paint stir sticks large paint stir sticks so stay tuned subscribe like if you do for more information and tips and tricks thanks